just here at the gym, a um, bit of a quiet Saturday for me, I'm usually sort of busy all afternoon, but I had a bit more time to pop down to the gym today and have a bit of a workout, so here we go, I love my basketball, I'm always wearing a basketball top, um, NBA top, if you don't see me in a suit, so just wanted to make a quick video about diet, um, it's a topic which I'm quite passionate about, done a lot of research over the years, I've tried different diets and stuff with my body, different things, so to be honest it shouldn't be a diet, um, it should be a lifestyle choice, so I just want to quickly explain the 80-20 the rule, so 80% of my diet I'm pretty damn good, whole foods, a lot of fruit and vegetable, um, grain, people who are gluten free and paleo and stuff like that, like let's not have an argument about that, but I like grain, I like fruit and vegetable, I eat a lot of meat, um, very basic stuff, I eat bread, it doesn't have to be complicated really, um, look I'm in pretty good shape to be fair, and I eat pies, I eat burgers, I eat lollies when I want, that's the 20%, the 20% can be whatever you want, it can be whiskey, beer, so basically I want to tell you not to worry about nutrition breakdown, like, okay, so nutrition is good, fruit and vegetable obviously is really important, they carry lots of fibre, which helps your body break down um, food better, and it also contains a lot of micronutrients, which are your minerals, um, vitamins and things like that, so my hand's getting a wee bit tired. Um, so a lot of diet, you know, different diets may have higher ratios of fat or carbohydrates or protein. A bodybuilding diet would be high in protein, low in carbs, moderate in fat. Um, but an endurance runner will be very high in carb, moderate fat and moderate protein. A lot of people consume way too much protein. I cut down my protein a lot over the years because I figured I don't need it. Your muscles don't need it. Science tells us 1.2 grams per kg is probably enough if you're weight training. So I weigh about 80 kilos, so 100 to 120 grams of protein a day is enough for me. I used to do over 200, like close to three. It's just wasted. You pee it out. Your body can't utilize amino acids. It's all to help with muscle recovery. So you go to the gym, you work out, you damage your muscle, then the protein helps us recover. So protein's important, but it's not that important in terms of your exact breakdown of your carbohydrates and fat. At the end of the day, total calories over time is what's important. So while you're eating over a period of time, you may have a good day and a bad day. It all averages out in the end. So don't get too cut up on today, I had a muffin, stress out, freak out, and broken my diet. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter. 80-20, enjoy the 20, and then it makes to 80 seem a lot easier. Don't get caught up in fad diets. Um, keto, like high fat, it's pretty bollocks, if it works for you that's fine, but we want to keep it easy, you know, don't restrict carbs, fat's fine, um, yeah, keep it simple, 